everyone. Uh, just a, a quick how to again, uh, or a little series of how to get the best out of our Sneakers ER products. Today we're going to have a look at a uh, sole re glue, an old pair of uh, Adidas suede from 2008, so 10 years old. Simply over time, the glue on these just dries out. Uh, and you can eventually just peel peel them off, peel them apart. So, uh, so yeah, it's 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 a fairly straightforward fix. Uh, obviously, we have our range of sole bonder. We've got three sizes. We have the the, the smaller size uh, just for little little restoration jobs. This will typically do maybe a couple of a couple of pairs. We've got. The mid size, and then for the professionals and people in the trade that use our product, we've got this large 500 mil. Uh, so lots, lots for you guys to choose from, no matter what job you're doing. Uh, so yeah, just going to take you through a few of the, the the basics on how we perform our reglues here at uh, Sneakers ER, if if that's something that we're doing. So we'll put this one over here. So these have been these have been cleaned up. As I say, these were actually I was able just to peel these uh, off one another uh, because the glue had dried out so much. Uh, I've, I've cleaned up a, a little as much as, as needed. You can still see some of the, the old glue here, but we can we can glue on top of that. Uh, so. My preference is a small, probably maybe like a half inch uh, flat brush. And all we're going to do, take the lid off this. Now, I would recommend using this in a very well ventilated uh, room. You've got a nice big space here that's neat to the yard where the window's open. So if you are taking on something like this, make sure, uh, you know, it's, 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 there's a lot of solvent in this glue. So make sure we have it formulated for ourselves. Very, very strong initial grab, and then a great flexibility, which will keep your, your, your shoes together for, forever. So, as you say, get some windows open, do it in the garage, you know, just make sure you've got lots and lots of ventilation, okay? So, it's as simple as dipping the brush in, getting some of that excess off, and then just a nice even coat right round the, the whole of the shoe. It's really easy. Just use the flat of the brush to get it right up that side. And as with all of our videos, there may well be a bit of side uh, or background noise, you say we are in the sneakers we are warehouse. You know the, the, the workers or employees are making up orders, website orders, wholesale orders, so you say you may well hear some music, you may well hear some talking. Uh, it is a, a working environment that we're in. So we're just continuing to put a nice even coat right around this paying particular attention to these edges. This and this glue does go a long way so you know you, you won't actually use that much. I mean even with this medium size uh, tin you would expect I would certainly expect you to be able to do three or four re-glues easily. Uh, so again, really good value for money. So I say we, we actually had this we had this glue specifically made uh, for us to give. As I say, that I've used, I've done hundreds and hundreds of sold swaps and uh, reglues over the years, but this un undoubtedly is the best glue that I've used for an initial grab. It, it, it basically means you've got one shot at getting it right first time, so uh, 
But once you have got it right, then it's as I say, there's no, there's no letting go. So, so I'm happy with that first coat. So we'll let that put that aside. That's going to take ten minutes just to just to dry, and then we we'll start the the upper. Now, because of the shape of this shoe and the shape of the sole, I'm just going to do the bottom of this upper. Hopefully, Vinny can pick this up in the camera. So I'll just show you what I mean. So that this is the old glue line. This is the Adidas glue line here. But I'm just going to, because of the shape of the, the sole, I'm just going to glue up to this line for the moment. And, and I'll explain that a little more uh, in a second. So, so basically the shape of the sole kind of wraps around this upper, which means that it can be quite difficult to, to say, you do get one chance. Uh, and th this is just a per personal preference of how I like to do it. Uh, I will go back, once I've got the, the sole on, I will go back to the shoe and then do the, the, the sides of the upper. Uh, once it's, once I, I feel that it's, it's, it's glued in, I will then go back uh, and revisit the shoe and then do the side. As I say, everyone has their, their own ways of doing uh, these transplants, but this is the way that I find that I'm comfortable with. Uh, and it has worked for me for for many years. So, so I say that's just the way that I I like to do it. See, just continuing to just apply the glue to the bottom. As I say, you see that again. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run the glue right along that bottom. My face, leaving the side here to see I can get that at a later point in the in the job. So that's that. So as you can see, that one coat on the on the sole and one coat on the very bottom of the upper. I've not done the, the side yet. I will do that later on in the job. Okay. So that does take. 10 to 15 minutes to dry. You're then going to want to put on one more coat, exactly like I've done there. And then you're going to want to basically going to let the, the vapors uh, come out of, the, out of the glue. And then you're good to, to put the two together. Okay, so I'm going to put this, this pair aside. And I'm going to actually come to this pair here that I've done earlier on. So this has had 20, 20 minutes, half an hour to dry. This is a two coat. You see, nice flat uh, coats of, of glue here. Two coats. As I say again, you can see where I've, I've stopped the, the glue here. I will return to the, the job at a, later on. And then I will I will do the sides. Okay, I have done the sides. What you will see, I have done the sides on the sole. Okay, it's just the upper that I haven't done the sides on. So, as I say, th th this is the the kind of crucial crucial part of the the job. I'm going to put this lid on this glue because it is very very strong. So what what I tend to do. I tend to, the, what you usually find is, there usually is very slight marks in the sole where you can line things up. So what I tend to do is, I tend to try and find those kind of location points. And then it's, it's basically just a case of putting the two together. So if I look down that there. Uh, And then it's just a case of putting that in here. Okay. 
Okay, and as I say, that initial grab is enough to set that in there for the time being. What I will do is now, now I know the word is different, but uh, and I like to use clamps. I know other people who are you know kind of doing these jobs, you know, kind of semi-professional have got you know a, a big setup, and then I know I know other guys that just like to you know kind of dabble in restoration that are just. You'll put them together with tape or whatever. I've got a clamp set up that I'll put these into, and then, as I say, at a later point, later on today, I'll return and I'll do the sides. Okay, which you can see here, I've not been done yet. But as I say, that that there, even just me pressing on this without any clamps, that's not going anywhere. So. That's it, the first, first, uh, first job done on it. Let's see, this can now get put into a clamp. And I usually like to clamp it for six hours or so. So we'll put it into a clamp, then we'll return and we'll finish the job by doing around the side. So, we're back. The, uh, the Addy Swades have come out of the, the clamps. As I say, spent about six hours in there. So we're now just gonna as I as I tried to explain earlier on, we're now just gonna do the sides. Uh, you see that this is just a personal preference of how I, I like to do to do the, the, the reboots. You guys may well have a, a different method. As I say that this is a method that has worked for me uh, for many years. So as I say, we, we, we're just now needing to put some glue in right around the shoe. And you'll notice I've got a smaller brush, one with a point on it instead of the flat one, because we want to get into the into the, the, the groove here. So I've also got masking tape. And it's as simple as, again, 3M is my uh, masking tape of choice always seems to have a good uh, tack on it so what I'm doing is when I get just gets a nice close up of that I'm just going right around the shoe where it meets the where the upper meets the, the sole okay just nice line nice straight line right along and this, this just prevents any overspill of glue. You know, it can, it can be, you know, occasionally it can be a quite messy uh, job. So uh, if we can protect the upper in any shape we can, then, then we do it, okay? And then we're just taking that line right along where the upper meets the Upper meets the sole, okay. And what I, I also like to do is I also do like to, so you see, you see when I press this together, that that meets, that's going to meet the the tape, and that's exactly how we want it. What I'm also going to do, I also like to tape the the sole. The sole, the sole is much easier to get glue to remove. Uh, glue from but again if we can prevent it at this point from going on the sole then I, I like to do that so again just running some tape right along that line as I say don't, don't worry if you do get some glue on the uh, on the sole or even the upper you know, we do have do have uh, products that can remove that Okay, so let's just go like that. Then we've got another bit. So we'll just we'll just do this side of the shoe. Uh, and what you're gonna learn from this side of the shoe, you just apply that to the to the other other side of the shoe as well. Okay. So that's that. I'm quite happy with the, that that's covered that. And now it's just a case of come back to our glue. As I say, 
change to a, a nice pointed uh, brush and again so so what, what the idea here is we're just going to flood some glue down this this groove here between the upper and the, the sole and remember that this the sole does already have two coats of glue on it so we're just running our brush along that you see don't we at this point we'll be too worried about getting glue on the, the rubber sole we can take that off so we want to get down nice and deep in there and as I say as I said before please use this in a very well ventilated room uh, definitely need to keep that fresh air you know coming through so. so we're just going to run that right along Now already <coughs> I can see that that's wanting to stick to the the uh, the sole. But what we do want to do is we want to want we want to let the the vapors from that glue we want that to evaporate. So we kind of don't really want that to stick at this point. We want to get some air in there. For a couple of minutes anyway. So I'm just going to take this, at this point, I'm just going to take this off. Okay. And I'm also going to take this off as well. As I say, don't worry about the, the glue on the show, we can remove that with our razor. So I'm going to let that dry for. 5-10 minutes, so we'll come back in 5-10 minutes and then we'll stick the two together, we'll stick the upper to the sole. So we've uh, re-glued the sides down, given it about 10 minutes or so to, to, dry, it, to dry out, to let the, the, the vapours uh, come out. So now what all we're going to do, maybe when I can get a close up of this, is we're going to press the two together. I've already started down at this end, so we're just going to work up the shoe. As you can see, it's immediately grabbing that glue. A really nice, tight fix. As I say, don't, don't worry about areas where there's, there's glue. We can remove that, no bother. As you see, there's a little little overspill of glue here that we can remove, and there's some little areas here that we'll we'll use the eraser to to remove. But as I say, you can see that there at this stage, you know, a really nice uh, clean job. What you don't want to do is have the original uh, glue line shown, so we've we've managed to do that, and that's just through a process of you know. As I said at the beginning, I've literally done hundreds of these uh, swaps or reglues in the past 10 years. So I, I've, you know, become a, it's become a kind of natural uh, habit for, for me. But what we've made these glues for is for you guys and girls to have a shot at this. Uh, you know, that there is definitely achievable from any of you, you guys and girls out there. Uh, no, it's just not to give it a try, you know, get a battered old pair, take them apart and then re glue them, you know, that's essentially how, how I started. Uh, so yeah, so there's little areas here that we can tidy up. I mean, 
you know, some people may not be bothered by little bits of glue like this, but what we can do is we can take our eraser and you'll just see that, that the, the natural rubber side just grabs the glue and just tidies it up. We can just work along the shoe where there is any kind of overspill and we can just take that. As I say, this na the natural rubber will, will grab the glue and almost you know, kind of take it into a little ball which you, you can then just pick off. Okay, so that's what's just happened there. We can just take that off. And we get a nice, nice clean factory, factory look. Yeah, happy with that. And then there's a little area here again that we can do the same. Hopefully Vinny can pick that up. Just dragging that glue off into a little ball. As I say, if Benny could maybe just if you could maybe just get right along that shoe there, Benny, you can see how nice a, a finish that is. And all in, that's been what half an hour or so. And with this, all all you're doing is repeating this these stages on the inside and the other shoe. You see, it's as it's accessible sneaker restoration for everyone. Uh, you know, we're not performing, you know, rocket science here. We're, we're fixing shoes. So, any, again, anyone can do this. Have a shot. You can get everything you need glues, brushes, erasers, www.sneakerser.com. And if you're having any trouble at all, you know where you can get us. You can email, email us. You can get us on live chat, you can get us on Instagram, DM, you can get us on Facebook, you can get us on Twitter, so there's no excuses not to get in touch so that you too can have results like this.